This is Bill Ree, Extension Program Specialist with IPM for Pecans with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. I believe anybody that produces pecans either commercially or as a hobby understands the impact of an insect on its crop. For this video here we're talking about the pecan weevil which is a major nut predator of pecan. It also is known to infest all species of hickory and one report of an infestation of walnut. In Texas, this insect is known to occur across the central and northern portions of the state with some infestations now occurring in the western counties. The pecan weevil has a unique life cycle with a two to three year cycle in the soil with about 90% of the population on a two year cycle and approximately 10% on a three year cycle. Emergence of the adults from the soil usually begins around the 1st of August and under a normal emergence about 80% will emerge between August 20th and September the 10th. However, if your soils have gotten hard and dry, they physically cannot connect, get out and they will need to wait for a rain or some type of irrigation or moisture to soften the soil so they can emerge. This late emergence can have a negative impact on our management. Once they emerge, females will migrate to the trees. Female will lay three or four eggs per nut, seal up the hole, and she will infest probably about 25 pecans during her life. The grubs will feed within the kernel or within the nut, feeding on the kernel, and they will feed for about 30 to 34 days. Upon completion of feeding, uh, the larvae will cut a hole through the shell and emerge through a single nice round BB size hole. This as shown here, usually one hole per pecan, but on occasion there can be two. And these are exit holes grubs have already left. Emergence can also occur if the shuck is still attached as shown here when they go through the shuck. In our management program, we monitor kernel development for pecans need to be in the dough stage before egg lay can successfully occur. We use adult emergence traps to monitor the cycle of emergence. We use insecticides and we keep records on our success. Management is usually based on foliar applications of insecticides in the, either a carbaryl or a pyrethroid based product. We monitor the kernel development for when dough formation starts near the tip of the nut. This is when a female can successfully lay eggs. We use adult emergence traps to monitor the emergence of adults. Our primary traps are the circle trap, wire cone traps, and tether traps. Pecan weevil is a quarantine pest, and this map here shows in yellow the quarantine counties in Texas. The only counties which are not quarantined are the five most western counties. The quarantine means that if you are selling pecans in shell or crack to the west or internationally, you will have to have a quarantine treatment, which is a cold treatment at zero degrees Fahrenheit for seven days. There is no restriction within the quarantine counties of counties that have weevil and not known to have weevil, so there's free movement within the quarantine areas. This is the map of our current known distribution of pecan weevil on pecan in Texas. If anyone feels that they have an infestation that is not represented on this map, to please contact your county extension office to let us know so we can assist you with a management program. Thank you.